Next, let's go to Washington and speak with Dr. Megan Rice. She's a senior national security fellow at the R Street Institute. And Megan, certainly Facebook, Twitter wanted us all to know that they took down these hundreds of uh, counterfeit accounts. But are they doing, even in the, after the wake of the 2016 election, are there enough safeguards being put into place on platforms like Facebook and Twitter to prevent a repeat of the, what we saw a couple of years ago? I, I do actually believe that Facebook, Twitter, these social media giants are taking concerted efforts to make sure that what happened before cannot happen again without the government oversight. So they are going to be corresponding with the U.S. government, with the Israeli government, with Western governments, if they notice that these disinformation campaigns are happening to make sure that the governments can inform the populaces and to to be able to really fight back against some of these bad actors like Russia and Iran. Megan, that sort of part of the R Street Institute's uh, stated mission is about limited government, but when we're talking about how to keep uh, this kind of propaganda and disinformation in check, how much of it do you think should be up to these tech giants and how much is up to governments to help them keep in check? So my goal and the goal of some of my colleagues at R Street is actually to have the social media giants do a lot of the work themselves. We don't think that Congress getting involved to such a great extent is going to be a good result for everyone because they're going to end up doing too much or not enough in the places where they need to do things. So I think what the message from these congressional hearings that happened earlier this year ended up being to these tech giants was either do do your part, do enough to, to keep some of this really bad stuff from happening, or you will be regulated. And regulation would not be good for a lot of social media networks. Megan, certainly there are, I would guess, First Amendment issues here. You don't want to see government restricting a free expression on these social media platforms. But let's keep in mind, Facebook and Twitter are not contending against lone hackers or even other companies. They're contending against governments, governments like Russia, like Iran. In that kind of circumstance, shouldn't then that call for a more active government intervention, as we see, for example, Europe doing? So what this particular expulsion of a lot of accounts showed is that some of these um, detection companies are able to actually see how accounts are being used by foreign adversarial governments to pursue disinformation. And what they saw is the accounts were doing things that normal users don't do. So basically the algorithms are getting to the point where they're able to detect false information and that would come from a government. So you're getting a lot of the steps in place in the private sector to be able to keep some of these really bad disinformation uh, campaigns from happening in the future. And you're also seeing that they informed the public and the government when these things happened. So the government can push back. They can start sanctioning Russia even more, sanctioning Iran even more if they need to when they notice these disinformation campaigns happening. So those governments will have consequences if they do these things to, West, to Western governments. Megan, uh, briefly, you mentioned consequences potentially that you're pushing for at least against some of these tech giants if they don't uh, keep that kind of propaganda in check. But when we're talking about tech giants that are so powerful, they have so much money, uh, and they're really interested in the bottom line at the end of the day, do you think that they can really be counted on to do the policing that you say should be their responsibility? Well, the goal is that the incentives for the tech company are going to align with their monetary incentives, that, that preventing disinformation campaigns will be really key to keeping a lot of their users. People are not want, wanting to be on these social media giant platforms if they think that they're just going to be interacting with Russian bots. And so a lot of the incentives could be aligning, and I'm, I'm 
assuming that you'll see that more and more if you start having these awareness campaigns that someone like uh, the the Iranian government is actually pushing some of this propaganda right. that you're seeing on so Facebook. So maybe it's actually uh, the public awareness and the users' uh, desires that might push these companies a little more even than governments and potential regulations. Dr. Megan Rice uh, in Washington.